it's everybody's favorite rusty car some people feel like I'm ruining it but it's your opinion it's my opinion it wasn't a great car to begin with but today we're gonna do something fun just for the hell of it we're gonna put these cheap ass coilover springs I got basically for nothing on it and just slam the crap out of it hopefully just a little update on the one that's not ruined and maybe make other people happy we put the stock rims from a Del Sol on it that we got the other day. Got rid of those ugly six spoke rims. Still sits a little too high, but definitely don't want to slam this one. Kind of going for more of a purity. So, let's go back to this one. I'm gonna set you guys up here in a minute and we'll get started. I about busted my ass on that one. Here on jack stands and the wheels chalked and the car in gear. And this car never ceases to amaze me. What in the hell is that? Some zip tied shit on the springs. Like I said before, these are very cheap coilovers. They don't have any centering screws like a lot of them do and no measurements. So just to get a rough idea where we're going to start, <clears throat> this being the bottom, I'm just going to mark all of them at 2 inches before I put them on and I'll put the top of my 
adjuster here there and we'll have to go from there but at least we'll start with all of them that are out the same all right so for the bottom here we have to take off 114 here where the control arm meets the knuckle and then one here where the strut meets the knuckle so up top inside I already moved the carpet we have two more 14 millimeters Car that never ceases amazing. Strut is com fully compressed, not going anywhere. And if you can tell, even if I hold this straight, it is bent. Well, now that I got it fully apart, you can see the bend. No, well, good thing we're just using some crappy sleeves. All we want to do is slam it just for the there hell. Here we of are. It. We got some grade A quality garbage on some grade A quality garbage. Instead of having the centering screws like a lot I've seen before. It just comes with O-rings and you have to figure out which ones will help center it on there. the other side and sometimes things don't work out like you want them to. Now I gotta figure out how to get that out of there and find a replacement. Well something we were doing for fun has now become a pain in the dick. I have to go to a junkyard to get a replacement control arm because there's no way for me to get that bolt out without messing something up. And the only way for me to guarantee the junkyard has the kind of car I need is this one company has online where you can check inventory. But it's over 30 minutes away. Check back in with you. Back from the junkyard. I didn't take any video at the junkyard just because I was trying to hurry. Get out of there. <clears throat> Hour and a half later. Here we go. No broken bolt. Fresh off of an EG Civic. Alright. Right. Here we go. They lowered as low as they can go considering we have two different struts for some reason and I can't take the other one off and this was just for fun let's see what we got Well, we're almost tucking tire. Let's see what the other side looks like with the different strut. Yeah, a little bit more space on this side. Well, after that adventure, I'm trying to decide if it's even worth the fun to put them on the front. I mean, it's low, but the other side is never going to match because of the strut. Unless I can get that strut off of there without messing it up somehow. So, let me take a break and decide if I want to do the front or not. There it is. Crappy coilover sleeves that we didn't even finish. See? Didn't even finish. Decided, after all that effort, I'm just going to buy some Max Peating Rods coilovers. <laughs> 